What's unique about this charter school? Why is it cool? Or what are we doing? It's that what are the big challenges that we have in education today? One is the achievement gap, absolutely, students who are living in poverty. Um, one is the global achievement gap, that we are not globally competitive. Even our most advanced students are still average internationally. They're not uh, achieving at the highest international level. Um, another is, I think, a sort of a new story is that a lot of the charters, the KIPs and Uncommon Schools, Achievement First, have shown what you can do with a completely segregated community. You can really focus and drill down on those kids' needs, accelerate their learning, but districts aren't structured that way. So how do districts uh, take that learning? What can they do with that? So we set ourselves this challenge of, okay, we're going to reflect a normal district school, um, but we still want to accelerate the learning for everyone here, and, and so how are we going to do that? And that's really kind of where we've been incubating and innovating is trying to address both of those ends. You know, how do you close the achievement gap, bring those kids quickly up so they can succeed, and how do you still accelerate learning for the higher end at the same time? it flips that experience. The, the lecture is in a video, they're much shorter. Uh, teachers have found that they can deliver the entire concept that they wanted rather than in 50 minutes with nobody raising their hand and saying, do I kind of have any questions or I have to go to the bathroom? Uh, it's like six to 12 minutes. Um, and so that's done at home and then when the students come into the classroom, often times you will see them doing lots of activities, labs, problem-based learning units, uh, practice sets with a teacher. The idea is to flip so that you do the lecture at home, since we have this technology now, and then you do the hard stuff, the actual work, when your classmates are there so you can sort of develop your group skills and your teacher is there to guide you and facilitate. When you come to class the next day, you have you basically have lots of options with what you want to do with the facts that they learned last night in the video. If it's complex stuff, you could have kind of a discussion and review. If it's simpler stuff, you can um, spend time working with primary sources. You could do geographical stuff. You could do debates. Um, I really like it, mainly just because of the size of the school. I like how it's small and it's a, like, it's a real community feel because we pretty much know everybody and we're friends with everybody. Oh, it's been it's been really like we've changed so much over the years and I can see like how you know like our teachers have changed and um, like I feel like at, at the beginning when we were here they were just like testing some things out but now it's really starting to come together and I think it's working really well for at least me and a lot of other people I know. Mm -hmm.